Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React. Today we are going to learn about the React step wizard, how to implement into your React project. Before, those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So sometimes you have the requirement like uh, first we will add the one step. Then I want to go with the next step. Then I fill down other details. Then fill the next details. Okay. Then form is submitted okay so like uh, this kind of scenario will come with like uh, uh, like when we have a uh, step forms right so on that note you can use this package okay and in the back if you go with the back one all the values are retained into the input fields right so how we are going to perform these actions okay so we have the package that is called react step wizard okay so here you can see that react step wizard okay so here you can see the continue then he will add with the continue okay then we go with the previous all the states are managed all ticket okay then uh, how to install this one so uh, we have to install via npm i react step wizard okay so you have to install this one then we have to import this one package okay then step wizard we have the step this is step one step two step five so basically step one step two step three is are the components components whether it's to be a form whether it's to be a text okay so here in the step one step two step five i am using the form input form right and this is done okay then we have uh, this one whether it's to be a, is active current step total steps first step all of these are the props that we can use into our project right so here we have the nav also. So here we have the initial step. Okay, which step you want to proceed? Any other parameters? No, then this is a basic one. Okay, so step wizard. Then we have the components and process it accordingly. So let's have a look via code level how I implemented this one. Okay, so let's step go with the step by step first we are using the react and the use state from the react then we are using the step wizard from the react step wizard which this is this is the package that we are installing then we have a react step that is basically for the html part so you can go with the material ui and anything right then we have our action buttons okay so when we press on the handle back it will go with the previous step then we go with the next step then go with the last step if I go and check this one previous step then we have a next step okay so here you can see that the next step props dot next step and props dot user call this one so here so this is the action buttons on behalf of it it will come into the action then we have a one two three these are basically the components okay so the so here you can see that and the last one that is a sample and here you can see that the component okay so the same thing so what we what here it is step wizard step wizard one two three that is these are all the components and here we are passing the instance of the wizard and on the step change we have to pass so when there is a step change so we will come to know about which which step is active okay and where we are in okay so let's take an example of the one component so here we have what we have done so we have the info set info by default it's empty when there is an input change we are passing all the values into that info set that info and the target the username then after that we are validating whether it's the name is mandatory or not then we are props dot next step props dot user callback dot info one so here you can see that in the info one we are called the user callback here you where we have the user callback you can see that the user callback assigned user okay so in the assigned user you will have the all the values okay set user so here we are initialized we are cloning or we are spreading all spread the operator and clone all that user and then passing all the values what we have whether it's to be in the like like suppose uh, in the first step we have this one like name my name right next step we have the age so here you can see that in the object name is there first name then age 
then the last step that is next that is finish okay so which act, which step is active active step is three and the previous step is two in the, on the step change whenever they are calling the step change so here you can see that and the step change is calling and he, he, and this set active step will make which step is active currently okay on the behalf of it what we are doing in the action buttons whether you want to show the back button whether you want to show the next button whether you want to show the finish button okay so on the behalf of it because without steps you can't add which step you are in so on the behalf of props current step is if it is greater than one so definitely we go with the back right and if it is less than total steps then go to the next and if the steps are equal to the current step then we go to the finish okay and in the one component we have the you can see name and in the next component we have the age so here you can see that all the values is stored in the set info okay and the last step that is this is username so here you can see that we are getting all the values from the props dot user dot name so because here you can see that we are passing the props Pre all the values are stored in the props so we are fetching it from the prop dot user dot name okay and this is the next step okay and this is the third where we are showing the summary and the detail okay summary name and the age and the action button props last step handle step, last step change okay so prop dot last step and the complete callback so all the information is stored right now okay so this is how you are able to make the react step wizard into your react project any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day